Hi there, Grade 8. So this lecture video is a review on our discussion on Cartesian plane, equations of a line, and slope of a line in preparation to your long test. So I've made multiple choice questions as how I construct your long test. So which among the points below is located on the y-axis? Now, take note that the points located on the y-axis are the y-intercepts. And these y-intercepts have zero x-coordinate. So among the choices, option D has zero x-coordinate, and that's the answer. Which among the points below is located on the first quadrant? Is it 1, 10, negative 2, 4, negative 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1? Now, the points on the x on the first quadrant class have both positive x coordinate and y coordinate. So, among the choices, option A has both positive negative uh, positive x and y coordinates. What is the coordinates of point A? 1 2 2 3 3 3 or 4 4. So, this is point A. So its x coordinate is 4 while its y coordinate is 4. So it has to be 4, 4. How about the coordinates of point B? Is it negative 10, 8, negative 8, 10, 8, 10, or 10, 10? So point B is here. So its x coordinate is negative 10 while its y coordinate is 8. So it has to be option A. How about point H? Is it 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, or 0, 0? Now, point H class is the origin. This is the intersection of the X and the Y axis. And its coordinate is 0, 0. Which among the equations is not considered as linear equations in two variables? Now, option C is not a linear equation in two variables since... We do not have variable on the denominator, and this has. So this is not linear equation in two variables. What is the equation of the line given in the graph here? So all the choices are expressed in the slope-intercept form. So we know the the point located on the y-axis as the y-intercept. And by inspection, the y-intercept here is 3. So y equals 3. By inspection, this is the possible answer. But let's verify the slope. So calculating the slope gives us working on this formula. And we have 0, 3. And another point at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So, given the two points, we can solve for the slope of that line. So, we have one minus three. Uh, rather, this is negative one. Okay. So this is negative 1 minus 3 all over 5 minus 0. And this is negative 4 fifths. So the slope is negative 4 fifths. The y-intercept is 3. So option C is the correct answer. Given the two points of the graph, which, is, which method is used? A, B, C, or D. Now, we are asked here on how we have constructed or graphed this line. Now, given the two points here, we know that the two points are the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts respectively. So, definitely, the graph was sketched using the x and the y-intercepts. So, given the two points... Which method is used in sketching the graph? So we have two points here. So any two points is used to sketch the graph. 
So that's A. Describe the slope of the line at the right. M is greater than 0. M is less than 0. M is equal 0 or undefined. Now, this is a line that leans to the left. So the slope is less than 0. How about the slope of this line that leans to the right? So this should have a positive slope. So M is greater than 0. So what is the slope of the line defined by the equation 2x plus y equals 5? Is it 2, negative 2, 1 half, or negative 1 half? So we will express this into the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So isolating y, we have y equals negative 2x plus 5. So the numerical coefficient of x is the slope of the equation, and that is negative 2. So the answer is B. Which among the equations is a vertical line? Now, a vertical line class has a constant x coordinate. And with that, C is the answer. So whatever the value of y, x will always remain as 3. So it's letter C. Now, on the other hand, which among the equations is a horizontal line? A, B, C or D. Now, um, the y coordinates of a horizontal line are constant. And among the choices, D has a constant y coordinate, which, is, which will always equal to 3. And the answer is D for this. What is the slope of the line that passes through the two points? So, M again is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we have negative 5 minus 3 all over 4 minus 2. So we have negative 8 all over 2. So the slope is negative 4 and that is option A. What is the equation of a line with slope 3 fourths and y intercept negative 3? Take note that all the choices is in the y-intercept form. So we will just substitute the given to the equation. And we know that m here is the coefficient of x, which is the slope. So this is 3 fourths x minus 3, which is the y-intercept. So this is the equation. And the answer is option A. Find the equation of the line that goes through negative 1, 4 and parallel to this equation. Now, two parallel lines class have equal slope. So we have to work on the slope of this and make use of this point to identify the equation of that line. So we have to express this in the slope intercept form. So we will transpose negative y on the other side. So we have 3x minus 5 equals y. So y equals 3x minus 5. So therefore, the slope is 3. So we have m equals 3 and 1 point at negative 1, 4. Using the point slope form, we have x plus 1 equals 3 quantity y minus 4. Simplifying the expression, we have x plus 1 equals 3y minus 12. So we have x plus 1 plus 12 is 13 equals 3y. Dividing both sides by 3, we have y equals 1 over 3 or 1 third x plus 13 over 3, which is obviously not in the choices. So it's letter D. So with the last sets of questions, find the equation of the line that's, that passes through 4 negative 1 that is perpendicular to 4x plus y equals 2. So we have to work on the slope of this. And the slope is 3y equals negative 4x plus 2. Divide both sides by 3. 
So we have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2. Okay. So m is negative 4 thirds. Now, among the choices, 3 fourths, the slope is 3 fourths here, 1 fourth, negative 3 over 7, 5. Now, this slope is the negative reciprocal of the slope that we are looking for. So, the slope must be 3 fourths. And we have a point that passes through it, negative 4, negative 1. So, among the choices, we have this as our answer. And we'll consider A. Since among the four choices, option A has the slope the same with the slope of the line that we are looking for. So, it has to be A. Find the slope of the line defined by y equals 3. So, y equals 3 class is a horizontal line with constant y coordinates equal to 3 always. So, whatever the value of x, y remains 3. For instance, if this is negative 10, your y will remain 3. If this is positive 10, your y will remain 3. And again, y equals 3 is a horizontal line. And the slope of a horizontal line is 0. Now, find the slope of the line defined by x equals negative 1. On the other hand, x equals negative 1 is a vertical line with x coordinate always equal to negative 1. And this is the graph. Whatever the value of y, if y is, for instance, 10, and this is negative 10, the x will remain negative 1. And this is a vertical line, so the graph is undefined. So, I hope that you were able to understand the discussion as this will cover the topics, the three topics will cover your long test. So, good luck to your test.